Hi guys, uh, this is 2008 Toyota Camry uh, 2AZ engine and the model is uh, SEV40R. So I'm going today replace the water pump. It's located in here. You have to off that 4mm bolt and dry belts. So I got the new water pump in my hand. So looks like that like this. This one has a dry leak. The coolant is dripping. So first I'm going to off the alternator and the dry belt to the make more rooms. You have to access the the water pump. That's too easy. So I off the disconnectors, everything. So before we do that we have to off the the battery terminal because we are moving in the alternator they get positive lines so you can see the leak underneath in here you can see we have to see there's the the pink dry marks in the coolant so first you have to drain the coolant there are some bung in there So before I going to remove the dry bell, I going to off that the the fuel mill for bolt get it loosen. Okay, we undo the dry belt. And you can see here the belt tension. That's a seventeen. No, it's a yeah, nineteen mil. We can push down its tensioner like this. That downward. Okay, I already undo the, the bottom on the bolt. They got one twin wheel bolt and the, got the fourteen mil.
Okay, all good. So. You can see now in clearly in the water pump. Okay, we have now more room for the access for the water pump. We have to open. I already undo it that the four bolts. I'll take it out the pulley. So after that you have to remove that pulley, water pump pulley. Um, you have to remove the 10 mil bolts. Underneath another three bolts. So okay, I all the undo the the bolts. Now we have to. Of the water pump, That's a dry leak. Okay, yeah, the gas cut in here. You had to clean the surface of the water pump. Yeah, scrape the sealant. Then. So, I clean already surface of the water pump then I'm going to install the new water pump and I put new the gasket and put a little bit sealant so, Then you have to tie the old tennis ball. Oh, 
So then after you have to pull it back in. So we after we installed the alternator, the 14 mil bolt first. Then two mil bolt after. Install dry belt. So we finally put the battery terminal back. So finally we installed the new water pump and after that I tightened the, this 4 mil bolt, 4 12 mil bolts. Then I don't need to fill the coolant. I tighten the drain plug under there. It's uh, this yellow thingy in the butterfly. So I'm going to start the car and have to bleed the system in the cooling. So start the car and I put the high side and put the heaters on and waiting for the fan on.
Okay, the both fans are on. So that means system is complete. So this is the end of the video. So we see you in the next one. Thanks.